Hello, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas style barbecue and cuisine. Got a very special dish for you tonight. This is a wonderful appetizer. I tell you what, my son and I love it. My wife won't try it. My daughter will eat it some, but I tell you what, me and my son love it. We call it Parisa. It is an Alsatian dish. We don't live too far from Castorville, Texas, known as the little Alsace of Texas. And I tell you what, they make a dish over there for appetizers that is fantastic. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to make Parisa. It starts off with a pound of lean ground meat. Now, uh, ground sirloin works great. Get the fat off. You don't want much fat in there. This is actually a, a 94.6 blend uh, that I bought. Uh, I like to grind it myself and use a little coarser grind. Didn't take that time today, just went ahead and went down and bought the ground meat. Now I'm just going to take a white onion, and this is a great big one, so I am actually going to use about half of this onion. And I want a small dice on this, I do not want it too big. So we're just going to open it up, get this thing ready to dice up, and I'm just going to make a small dice on it. Nothing fancy here, just a basic way to dice an onion. And now I'm going to take it and just give me some real, real small dice. I tell you, this recipe from family to family is a little bit different. The basics are there, you're going to see the same things in it, but a uh, little variation. Some people use American cheese, I like cheddar in mine. I'm not sure what the authentic one is. Depends on who you're talking to and what the authentic is. But We're going to put our onions back out of the way. Not everybody uses jalapeno. I do like a nice big jalapeno. So I'm going to cut it in half. Cut those in half again. And I'm just going to take this membrane and the seeds out of it. Do this real quick. This is a very quick dish. And again, a great appetizer. Now I'm just going to finish cutting these peppers into sticks. Fairly small julienne cut. And of course then I'm going to turn it to get a small dice on them. I don't want any big chunks of jalapeno in here. Now I have my jalapeno all diced up nice and small. I'm going to put it in. Maybe this isn't with the what we call authentic, but I tell you what, it goes great with it. It adds the heat. I like it, so we always add it in. So I'm just going to put my pepper right up on top of those onions, let them sit there, and we're getting ready to make this dish. One pound of lean hamburger meat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my onion and my jalapeno, put it on top of my ground meat. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of black pepper, and this is a table grind. I have two teaspoons of salt. tablespoon of garlic, all that's in there. I'm going to take the juice of one lemon. Some people use lime, I like lemon in mine. Open it up, here we go. That's ready to go. And now I have one pound of, or excuse me, one half pound of sharp cheddar cheese on top of that. We're gonna mix these together. Some people use a real fine cheese. I actually like it a little bit bigger. We wanna make sure we mix this in, get that lemon all the way through it. And we wanna have this lemon all the way through it because this is not a cooked dish. We're gonna eat this meat that has been cured by the lemon. So. That's why we want to make sure that lemon is in there to kill uh, any of the bacteria. Kind of like a steak tartare is what we're doing here. Now I have this mixed up really well, so what I'm going to do is, is cover it with plastic, get it in the refrigerator, let it cool for about two hours, then we'll get it back out and show you how we eat it. We've got our Paris out of the refrigerator. We have started serving it up traditionally. Saltine crackers is the way you make it, but it's a pretty easy process. Just take your cracker, 
Reese is up on top of it, looking good. Going to give it a try. That does taste great, and I tell you what, you always chase it down with a nice cold beer. Lone Star Light, National Beer of Texas. I tell you what, excellent dish, but if you've never had it, give it a try. You think, oh man, I'm not eating raw hamburger meat, but I tell you, folks, this is an excellent dish. Give it a try. Get you some cold Lone Star to go with it. If not, just get your favorite beer you got. Make you up a little Parisa, get you some crackers. It's a great appetizer. Impress your friends, impress your family. And tell them you got the recipe here on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you being here. Give me that thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and always click that notification bell. Thanks for stopping by, and we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen